Hey, hey, hey. So today is day one of a three day trip. I picked this up at the last minute last night and it's a PM trip. So pray for me y'all because I really don't like PM trips at all, but that's all I was legal for. So it's three legs today, currently in Indianapolis. I love Indianapolis, I really do. They've got my favorite popcorn, just pop in. Everyone loves the Chicago popcorn, either Nuts on Clark or uh, what's the other one, Garrett's. I personally don't care for Garrett's. I think it's a little bit too greasy, but I do like Nuts on Clark, but I love this popcorn. So this last flight was very wide open. We only had like 56 people or so and the plane holds 175. The next one, I think I'm going to Houston. The next one should have about the same amount of people. And then we get off this plane, which is an 800. We get off this plane, we change planes, and then we go to Oklahoma City. Yeah, we didn't do any service on this last flight because it was kind of bumpy, I'm not gonna lie. Uh, our pilots just got here, so. I am going to go and introduce myself. I will talk to you guys later. I'm a fly, you fly, we fly, so I, my Fly. Be fly, fly, you fly, we fly, 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 so high. Oh no. Oh, they must be going up in the concourse. Okay. Yeah, either that or, no, they can't be waiting for a plane to arrive. <laughs> Hotel. Checking for the killer. I checked most of the room already. Got to check under the bed, kind of, sort of, too. Got to check behind the curtains. Yeah, so it wasn't a bad day at all. Everything was, went as planned. Everything was on time. <laughs> That's why I don't like doing PM trips. Oh, I can't stand them. Oh, the last time I was here, we had a beautiful sunrise. A beautiful sunrise. Anyway, yeah, I don't like doing PM trips because PM trips, I always say, is too much. The triple Ds happen on PM trips. Delays, drunks, and drama. I don't like none of that. So that's why I prefer an AM trip, but I was only legal to fly a p.m. trip because of what time I got back. This hotel is so old. We have been at this hotel for so many years. I spent a New Year's Eve here one year. Um, I'm in Oklahoma City. I spent a New Year's Eve here one year. It wasn't that bad because Philip flew out and we went to the OKC Thunder game and then we hung out a little bit. But anyway, yeah, I prefer AMs because that stuff typically doesn't happen on an AM. Delays, drunks, or drama. Although it did on my last one, if if you follow me, if you saw my last one, yeah. <laughs> All of that happened, well no, drunks didn't happen, but the rest of it did. Anyway, I'm just rambling on and on and on, but today was a good day. Everything went as scheduled. First two flights were not full at all. The third flight was kind of full, but it was full of people that were returning home from vacation. We had some newlyweds on that flight. Everybody, it was just good vibes all around. Everybody was in a good mood. And we were flying on the Mac, so we were playing music um, during boarding and deplaning. And yeah, that's that. My crew, great crew. I've flown with all of them before. We have a fourth flight attendant, the D flight attendant. He's with us the entire trip. That like never happens. So that means that I'm gonna either be on an 800 or a max eight aircraft for the entire trip. Love that for us, I think. Sometimes those older 800s are just as bad as the 700s. But anyway, yeah, that never happens. So my van time tomorrow is like 1.20 in the afternoon. You should see the lobby. Like there's a party going on down there, but 
I'm going to bed. So yeah, I think I'm going to say good night and I will talk to you guys tomorrow. Good night. Hey, hey, hey. Good morning. I should, I should say good afternoon. This is a PM trip. So the time is now 1228 and I got to be in the van in less than an hour. The van is 120. I don't even know where I'm going today. I know I end up in, where do I end up? Columbus, Ohio, but let's check. Okay, we are going from Oklahoma City to San Antonio. Looks like it's six minutes late. That could change. And then San Antonio to Nashville. Oop, that's a long one, two hours-ish. Not long, but relatively speaking. But um, San Antonio, Nashville, Nashville to Columbus, Ohio. Today is actually our shortest day. We have a seven and a half hour duty day. And by duty day, I mean from the time that we report to the airport to the time that we get released after our last leg, which is 30 minutes or so after we land. Um, our duty day is not what we get paid. <laughs> we only get paid for a time on the airplane. So there's that, but it's been like that for this that's across the board and it's been like that since, I don't know, the 80s or so. So anyway, yeah, so we have seven and a half hour duty day. Yesterday was eight something and tomorrow is eight something. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Oh, another thing I wanted to tell you. <laughs> so I showed you, I should have showed you, I'm not sure if I did, but I showed you the ice because flight attendants, we are real funny about our ice. And yesterday's ice, the ice that I showed you is some ice that I'd never really seen before. And so I was expecting it to be nice ice, but it was just okay. It was just okay ice. I'll show you the ice that I'm accustomed to that we normally get on the airplane. Um, one of these legs is going to have it, if not all of them. Anyway, yeah, so that was that. We had a beautiful sunrise again. And yeah, that's all I have to say about that. So I am going to turn my boys back on. We have switched from listening to classic R&B and we have switched to my favorite band, the Kings of Leon. I haven't heard them in a minute. So it's time for me to listen again. And I will come back on if I have something else to say. Oh, the other thing I was gonna tell you, um, <laughs> so yesterday when I got to the airport, I was all dressed in my uniform, of course, but I was wearing my do-rag, not this one, but a black one, but still. And I pull up to the airport and get out of the car and go, oh my God, I forgot to take my do-rag, <laughs> my do-rag off. So for those of you that, that don't know, this is called a do-rag. This is not a good one. This is actually my least favorite, but that's why I bring it with me on layovers because in case I forget it, I won't care if, in case I leave it at a hotel. Anyway, so I get out of the car and I quickly snatch that thing off, <laughs> off my head. And the reason why I was wearing it was because when I left the house, my hair was still a little bit damp and I could tell that them curls were curling up. They were poofing up again. And I, don't, I didn't want them to poop up. I wanted them to lay down. So I wore my do-rag in the ride to the airport. <laughs> I almost forgot to take it off. Somehow I think my company would frown upon that. Anyway, that's all I have to say about that. Let me get ready. Um, so I'm back because I thought of something else I wanted to tell you. If you are ever in, so I'm in, where am I? I'm in Oklahoma City. Yeah, if you ever find yourself in Oklahoma City for whatever reason and you have a little bit of time, there's a really cute area, part of downtown called Bricktown. And yeah, it's super cute. The other thing to do that I highly recommend if you like museums and you like history and all of that good stuff, the Oklahoma City bombing site and they, they built a museum. And years ago, I dragged one of my crew members with me and he had his reservations about it, but at the end, he liked it. It was it was it was fascinating, like fascinating. Um, yeah, so that's all I have to say about that. If you're ever in Oklahoma City and you have some time on the ground, go check out that museum. All right, I'm gonna finish getting ready. All right, you guys, it's time to go. I've gotta be in the hotel van in about ten minutes. One thing I do not do on AM trips is put the do not disturb sign because you gotta remember to take it off. That's just a courtesy. 
to the hotel staff, like to the cleaning crew, because they will not go in a room that has a do not disturb sign on it. But I definitely put the do not disturb sign on when I'm on a PM trip. Anyway, like I was saying, hold on. If I was a smart flight attendant, I would have come downstairs, gone downstairs earlier to get some food from the hotel lobby, but I'm not that smart. Let's see. Are we alone? Oh, yay. We're alone in the elevator. Yeah, I'm definitely not that smart because I'm not used to it. I don't normally do PM trips if I can help it. But anyway, let's go. I'm hungry though. And just like that, we are done with day two. So, what do we do today? We started out in Oklahoma. Let's go. In, let's go in the bathroom where the lighting is amazing. Uh, we started out in Oklahoma City, and silly me, silly me, I did not think to go get some food because Oklahoma City doesn't have a whole lot of food options for me. And we didn't have a whole lot of time on the ground in any of our, at any of our stops. But I managed down the line. So Oklahoma City to San Antonio, San Antonio to Nashville, and then Nashville to Columbus, Ohio, which is where I am now for the night. And it's funny because we've stayed at the same hotel for years, but I thought, because I haven't been to this hotel, in literally years. I thought we got rid of this hotel, but evidently not. I thought it was going some someplace completely different. But anyway, but it's been it's been renovated, so it's it's nice. Anyway, I was able to run off the plane. So when I don't pack my food, I eat horribly, like horribly on a trip. The first leg I think I munched on like oh in San Antonio I got off and I got like some Doritos and like some candy. And then in Nashville, Nashville has a Burger King and Burger King has the Impossible Burger. So I was planning all day, that's where I'm gonna get my food. I'm gonna get off in Nashville. And I was hoping that we would get a gate close to the Burger King, which is on the D side, which is the new concourse. <sighs> well, I was wrong. We got a gate. The farthest gate, we were at the very end of the sea concourse. <sighs> Y'all should have seen me running, like running from one of the last gates on the sea concourse all the way around the corner to the D concourse, like running. Even when I got back, the agent was like, you went all the way <laughs> to Burger King? She's like, she was impressed. I said, I was on a mission. Anyway, I made it. I made it and I even had a couple minutes to shove some food in my face before we started boarding um yeah but we did service on all three flights yeah it wasn't there were a few bumps here and there but nothing too bad nothing too bad at all and yeah that's all i have to say about that so tomorrow is three more legs i don't know exactly where i'm going tomorrow but i do know i'm going home I know that. Let me shut up. Let me not jinx myself before a winter storm rolls through here in the middle of the night and I actually can't go home because stranger things have happened. But um, yeah, so I'm going to take this makeup off. My hair is kind of cute today. What did I do differently? I don't know. Let me take this stuff off my face and I will holler at you guys tomorrow. Was there something I wanted to tell you? I think there was. And I just don't remember what now. 
My van is at 1240 tomorrow, so it's not even that late <sighs> by PM standards or by my PM standards. So yeah, I gotta hurry up and sleep and I will holla at you guys tomorrow. because on p.m. trips I usually do way more with my makeup but this trip wasn't feeling very p.m.y for me and layovers haven't been that long anyway um, but yesterday I got a lot of questions about the lip I was wearing it is the Fenty Beauty liquid lippy and the color is the VIP I've done this on my social media before but I don't think I did it on YouTube I'll show you how I apply it. Just watch. Okay, so I apply the first layer and then I blot. And then I go in with round two. I am not as precise with round two. Just trying to get it on there. Then I blot again. And I grab another. Uh oh, it's bleeding a little bit. Okay, we can powder over that. Then I go in with another tissue and my loose setting powder. This is the pink one, but that's okay because it's a red color, so not that big a deal. But I could also go in with a uh, loose setting powder that's more my skin tone. Y'all, I'm trying to get out of here because I'm trying to get some hotel from food. I'm trying to get some food from the hotel. And the van is in 20 minutes, so it doesn't look like that's gonna happen. And I'm not really trying not trying to run through the airport like I was yesterday. But anyway, so you put the tissue paper over your lips, grab some setting powder. So it doesn't look any different, but it makes it last. Like I never, I'm too lazy. I never reapply my lipstick. Um, it will transfer a little bit, but the color will last. The last step I do is I get my pressed powder. That's my skin tone. And then I outline and then I get like a stiff, stiff brush. This is not my favorite to do this with, but what I have. And then you just outline the lip. Kind of gives like a halo effect. I don't know if you can see this. I hope you can. up that powder cleans them up a little bit makes it look neater but I'm in a hurry I gotta go I'm trying to get I'm really trying to get some food so I'm gonna I'm gonna talk to you guys later okay you guys so I'm here in DC and we have we landed I guess a little bit early but we only had like 70 something people on that last one we've got about 40 something people on this one we're flying on the max 8 aircraft so it holds 175 people yeah now we're going to chicago midway then we got to change planes in chicago where i'm hoping not hoping i will 
because we have to change planes. So I'm gonna run off the airplane. I guess I won't have to run because I'm changing planes. But then I'm gonna go get some nuts on Clark pop nuts on Clark popcorn. Yes. So yeah, so that's what that's what we're doing. And then after Chicago, one more leg to Atlanta and then we are done. people on this flight I'm currently in Chicago and we are headed to Atlanta but we still got a lot of time on the ground we got about 30 minutes which is perfect because that is just enough time for me to eat some food and then we're work this last leg so you know what I'm probably gonna end this vlog here thank you for watching please consider subscribing and I will holla at you guys in the next one